this, obviously, is a bone, and it's the long thigh bone that runs from your hip joint to your knee, and it's called the femur. And it looks like it's pretty much made up of one material, bone, but it's actually far more complex than that. There are several types of bone tissue, but the structural part of bone is essentially made up of two very different materials. The first is collagen, a protein that's found in many different forms in our skin and in various tissues in the body. And it's an incredibly tough and elastic substance. In our bones, it provides flexibility. So just like these suspension systems in these old cars, it allows our bones to withstand the incredibly dynamic forces that our bodies experience every day. But as a material to help you stand up, collagen is rather useless, which is why bones need a second, harder material. It's a mineral called calcium phosphate. Now, it is pretty hard, but it's also incredibly brittle, a bit like this glass. Now, on their own, neither would be any good for a skeleton. If my bones were made of all collagen, they'd be wobbly and unstable. If they were made of all calcium phosphate, they would shatter pretty easily. But it's when these two different materials combine that something remarkable happens. This old car windscreen is no more than two layers of glass with a see-through layer of rubber sandwiched in between. The result is a rigid composite material that won't shatter easily. A bit like our bones. In fact, healthy human leg bones can withstand compressive forces of over a ton. Bones are as alive as any other parts of our bodies. They're constantly changing, renewing, and repairing themselves. All through life, bone material is being released from our skeleton with new bone being laid down. And the released bone matter is broken down and its minerals, like calcium, are released into the body in a process called resorption. In fact, by the time you reach your late 30s, your entire skeleton would have been resorbed and reformed five or six times.